Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity and yes I have a red thing on my desk. It is a surprise creation project share but I've been trying to be good. I've been telling you I've been getting out all my old stuff and I dug this out of the back of my cupboard. It was still in the box, a little bit dusty and it still works. I must have got this oh 10, 15 years ago and you know everything else came out the cinch the binder all the rest of it but look it still works i was so impressed because i'd actually hurt my hand watch there yeah, i've got holes <laughs> and i even had to get the instruction book out because i've forgotten how to use it and you can actually go up with one of these so if you've still got one and it's in the back of the cupboard i bet you it still works and obviously my whole there isn't lined up but look at this <laughs> i've just been playing with it now i've got three holes that will do a planner i mean seven gypsies all those years ago they came out with some really really awesome stuff and i also dusted off my collection of their punches and they were the first ones to come out with um, memory decks or roller decks punches to do the edges and you could use those punches all the way up a length of cardstock and all it was was a big red handle like this and then you just slot all the metal pieces into it so i dragged that out because as i say i have hurt my right hand i don't know how i did it but um i was just impressed that it worked so i just wanted to share a trip down memory lane with seven gypsies right <laughs> on to surprise creation and i've used up the rest of the dies from the haul that i received the other day and here they are I think I'd already um, used that one for something or I'd use that one for something. But these are the other two fancy frames. These are the six inch ones. And these were the uh, slimline <coughs> dies that I was sent. And you can see they're all messed up in the packaging now because I've used them. That's what I like to call the coin edge. And then you've got that angled dashed edge next up was the springtime wreath this one is the nicole design and i used that one i used the squirty bottle for something totally unrelated i'm sure to what it's meant to be for and likewise with the gloves i used those for something different too all right so what did i make first up is the wreath i'll go with the biggest first and I just did it really, really simple. I've got it upside down. Good morning, everyone. And um, that's that heart pattern from that gorgeous floral pack that I got a few weeks ago. And I just used pink and a little bit of sparkle. And that just reminds me of spring and chocolate rabbits and things like that. Chocolate bunnies. Haven't eaten those for years, but I remember they were good. So that is the first one. And then next up, oh, I can introduce something else to you as well now. I did the coin edge and the dash edge and I did these. Look at the detail. Aren't they awesome? These are the new 3D stickers from Dollar Tree. So there is number one. And these dies are eight by three and three quarters or is it three and a half no three and a half eight by three and a half i did measure them in the haul video on uh, monday so i'll link that below again and you've got just a little bit of frost around that galvanized bucket but if i turn it that way they fit slimline cards isn't that awesome so i'll show you my other ones as well so oh well, these aren't, but obviously they could go onto a slimline card. And I've got some real bright ones that I want to throw glitter all over. And then this is where the daffodil one came from. And there's still a little pot and some little separate three-dimensional daffodils to use up on there. And I just thought they were so sweet. 
and this is where the um, sort of like flower shop van came from but look at that little chair it's just absolutely gorgeous and I think that's yeah it's got sparkly bits on it as well really really pretty little pots of pansies and a little tiny basket of pansies and then I've got the sort of chalkboard ones and you've got the cloche and you've got the um, I think they're violets or viola I think they're a bit smaller than a pansy and you've got the bike and you've got the sentiments and then this one I just love this the poppies in the teacups and then you've got the cloche again and look at that bottle get it in at an angle and that teapot gorgeous so all of those do fit slimline dies so you need to go and check out your dollar tree and uh, have a look at all their gorgeous new stickers but anyway i use these ones so these are my first springtime cards that i've got going on here and uh, as you can see they just perfectly fit a slimline card which probably means these are seven and a half inches i would imagine on the uh, daffodil one this one being half of that probably about four inches so just really really sweet and quick cards right next up is the squirty bottle and i just didn't do what was expected of me i'm pretty sure this was sort of like designed as sort of hand sanitizer covid related spring squirty related and it is a shaker but I'm a crafter, so I used it as a paint spray bottle and I just squirted um, some of my ink across the paper there, painted this section, which is a separate piece that comes with it. Let's see if I can find it. That's that bit. And I did that in the same colour as the ink and um, just place them on there this amazing is also a nicole design but this is from ks craft i believe see the ks craft or kljuyp but i'll try and find it but i just thought you know for somebody that you're giving who's craft orientated too that's just a great way to do it because quite frankly covid and everything is just depressing me at the moment so I really don't want to involve that in my crafting. That would just, you know, <laughs> wouldn't make me happy at all because I just think it's absolutely awful, everything that's going on. So I'm just making mine happy and it's a splash of ink across my card. Next up, the gloves. Once again, I think they're meant to be sort of like dishwashing gloves or gloves for hygiene, COVID related or gardening gloves. But I decided I was going to use them without the little trim pieces and I was going to send someone a hug. Now, this hugs is also a Nicole. I believe this one is from KLJUYP. And this heart here is from a Valentine set that she did for Surprise Creation last year, but tied it into some really pretty, let's get close, heart paper there with that little dash edge. And then you've got those huggy hands. So just sending a hug to somebody. And that's how I decided to use that. Right. So that's what I've got for you today. I managed to create five things. So I've been doing quite well this week. And tomorrow I'm going to be up with DIY Art Bin. And it's a small design team hall and a project share for them. Right, you have an absolutely awesome day. I'm really happy I found my punch. <laughs> I'm going to play with it. I'm going to put holes in everything now. And uh, as usual, all links below. Bye.